you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 13th third sunday of advent let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john chapter 1 verses 6 to 8 and 19 to 28 there was a man sent from god whose name was john he came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him he himself was not the light but he came to testify to the light this is the testimony given by john when the jews sent priests and levites from jerusalem to ask him who are you he confessed and did not deny it but confessed i am not the messiah and they asked him what then are you elijah he said i am not are you the prophet he answered no then they said to him who are you let us have an answer for those who sent us what do you say about yourself he said i am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness make straight the way of the lord as the prophet isaiah said now they had been sent from the pharisees they asked him why then are you baptizing if you are neither the messiah nor elijah nor the prophet john answered them i am baptizing with the water among you stands one who you do not know the one who is come after me i am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal this took place in bethany across the jordan where john was baptizing the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends on this third sunday of the advent season <clears throat> the theme is traditionally one of joy the first word of entrance hymn today is rejoice this is a tradition coming down from the old pre vatican to latin mass when the first word of the introit or entrance was gaudite sunday in the past advent was the penitential season many of us can still remember when there were four fast days during the period and the celebrant of the liturgy wears vestments with the penitential color of purple or violet the atmosphere was deliberately penitential and somber my dear friends why rejoice why should we be rejoicing because we are soon to remember that the son of man jesus the christ came to live among us as a human being and be one of us and the word became human being and lived among us and further we rejoice because he the lord brings such good news the first reading prophet isaiah a text which jesus in luke's gospel will apply to himself the spirit of the lord has been given to me for the lord has anointed me in so speaking jesus clearly identify himself with the anointing him who is the messiah and savior of god's people and why has he come why has he been sent he has sent me to bring the good news to the poor to bind up hearts of the broken to proclaim liberty to the captives freedom to those in prison to proclaim a era of uh, grace from the lord yes my dear friends as we meditate today's gospel we must see the second reading the theme of joy that comes as through jesus be happy at all times 
may seem a rather unreasonable de demand. Yet, for the true Christian, happiness is the underlying experience of daily living. Even if now and then there are painful problems to deal with. Yeah. In this we have the example of John the Baptist, who is the focus of the gospel passage from Prologue John's Gospel. A man came, sent by God, his name was John. He came as a witness to speak for the light, so that everyone might live, believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for the light. We have here a clear assertion of the relationship between John the Baptist and Jesus. Jesus is the light. John is a witness to the light. It might be helpful for us to reread those opening verses of today's gospel and replace the name of John with our own name. What it says should be just as true of every Baptist person as it is of John. For each one of us, by our baptism and our membership in Christ's family, has been sent not obviously to be the original light, but to give witness to the light. The Sermon on the Mount speaks of us, a light of the world. We are to be the light in the same way as the moon is in the, its reflection of the sun. Yes. My dear friends, as we are in the season of Advent, within a few days we are going to celebrate the Christmas. So we need to come out of our darkness. There are so many people out there who live in darkness. There are so many people who are in poor in so many ways, even though financially well off. So many who lack real freedom, the freedom to choose truth and love in all they do and say. So many who are deafened by the consumerist din around them. So many in the midst of all the superficial joyity who feel lonely, unwanted, rejected, marginalized. So many broken hearts amid all the party going. There are people who simply hate Christmas because it only increases their inner pain and deep sadness. So many out of there are waiting, waiting for us to shine the light of Christ on them and to turn their lives into experience of joy, of wholeness and integrity. The joy of Jesus, the joy of Christmas, can only be ours to the extent that we work with Jesus to bring that joy into the lives of others too. Amen. May God bless us.